So um, just to start with a few words about Global Compact. Um, it is uh, part of the United Nations, um, and it's the largest voluntary network of companies that have signed up to um, uh, live according to UN Global Compact same principles for human rights, labor rights, um, environmental protection, uh, and anti-corruption. And um, today it counts uh, 9,000 companies from around the world um, and around 3,000 um, organizations, governments, and so on. And, um, and since um, the introduction of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, Global Compact has also been concerned about how they could activate businesses to lead uh, and to deliver on the goals. Um, and in many ways, Global Compact sees the goals as a fantastic business opportunity, um, as long as it's being uh, delivered in a responsible manner, if you want. And it's the first time that Global Compact is actually focusing on health and well-being, um, in very much the same way that we would have focused in the past on, for example, climate change uh, and the environment. Um, and in many ways, it's because many of the factors that are driving us to ill health uh, are also the same factors that are actually contributing to climate change and what have you. So we need to think, figure out how we can take a very integrated approach. So this is a broad coalition, um, mainly of um, some of the leading companies who really want to, to lead the way in this area. It's also important to say these are not just healthcare companies. We want to have every company in every sector involved in taking responsible <coughs> responsibility for health. Um, that said, there are a number of the big food, food companies in this initiative, so we both have Panon um, and we also have Nen Nestle um, in, in our collaboration. And the overarching premise for, for this initiative is that the way we live today, the way we work and play and organize our communities in many ways impact our climate and health and well-being. Um, and we need to ensure that we get to the root causes um, and that we take a very systemic approach to dealing with that so that we can ensure that we are creating a future where people have access to a, a healthy uh, and long life. And if you, if you look at this picture, in many ways, this is what um, in health, um, climate, uh, childhood obesity would be the same thing that global warming is in, in, uh, in, in environmental uh, and climate change. Um, and in many ways, this is, this is an indicator for the fact that there's something that is seriously wrong. When children today are developing diabetes, type 2 diabetes, before they even get into their teens, it's a signal that something is seriously wrong. And in many ways, it's also at the, at the core of why we're finding ourselves in a situation today where we need to redefine what corporate responsibility looks like in health. Because in many ways, people are start looking at the business sector and, and asking, what are you going to do about this issue? And why is it that we have landed ourselves in this situation? Um, and I hope that we also, during the conversation, can go a little bit deeper into um, what, what some of the challenges are in this area. But just to say a few words about the fact that recently we held um, an external uh, consultation with leading experts in the health community. And they were looking at Global Compact and they were saying, we hope that you can help us find common ground. Um, and we're particularly very concerned about the fact that at the moment, because we can't find common ground, particularly with the food industry, um, we are not in a position to really solve the problems that we have in front of us. And in many ways, we believe that this would also be in the interest of the food industry. But we need to, to, to tackle issues like um, food competition, marketing, lobbying, um, uh, advertising, um, and, uh, and, and so on and so forth. So it's just to say that there are a willingness and an interest in finding common ground, but also a deep concern about why we're landing ourselves in the situation that we are in today. So when we are looking at what it takes to redefine corporate responsibility in health, 
we have to look at a number of different dimensions. It's a workplace, in the marketplace, in the community, and also through the supply chains, where we have as businesses an opportunity to, to deal with this issue. We believe that cities are very much part of the solution. We need to, to find a way of collaborating with cities, and Global Compact has a network of some 100 cities that are really keen to work in this issue. We also need to ensure that we give the next generation a voice, um, and we're trying to find out uh, how we can do that. Because in many ways, they're the ones who, whose future we're talking about, and they need to be activated in this. So I don't want to say so much about it than that, uh, apart from the fact that we are launching the action platform here in September. It's brand new, um, and, um, and we're still very open for exploring collaborations and organizations who would like to be part of it.